In problem number 18 of section 3.1, we're given a situation in which a farmer is uh, trying to lower a brick into a well via a pulley uh, situated above the well. So here I've drawn a diagram of the situation, in which we have the farmer standing here with uh, the well a distance, the center of the well a distance x away from the farmer, and the pulley is five feet above the well. Now the well, or assuming the well is two feet deep. Now the first part of the problem asks us to um, see how far the farmer is away when the brick is at the level of the pulley. So before he's actually started to lower the brick into the well. Now to do, the, to do this, this is just a simple application of the Pythagorean theorem. So we see that uh, we know that the brick is situated um, at the pulley, so the hypotenuse is the full length of the rope, or 13. Our side here is x squared, or excuse me, x, and the height is 5. So we assume that the, uh, that the pulley is 5 feet above, above the well. So now we can use the Pythagorean theorem, say that x squared plus 5 squared, or 25, is equal to 13 squared, which is 169. So x squared is equal to 144, or x is equal to 12 feet. Of course, if we recognize this as a special right triangle, um, or recognize it as a Pythagorean triple, we could also just know that 5, 12, 13. Now, part B asks us how far uh, the farmer is away from the well when the rope reaches the bottom of the well. So I'm going to draw another picture here. Here we have our distance x, and I'm going to call this distance r. Now, we're assuming that the, uh, that the rope has reached the bottom of the well. So we have two feet here, and the distance here is five. Now, when the rope reaches the bottom of the well, we're assuming that he's let out all of the rope. So we know that two plus five plus r must equal 13. So seven plus r th equals 13 implies that uh, the the hypotenuse here, r, is equal to 6. Now, we can use this together with the Pythagorean theorem to find the value of x. So we know that x squared plus 25 uh, must equal uh, r squared, which is 36. So x squared equals 36 minus 25 which implies that x is equal to the square root of 11. Now, part C uh, is the actual related rates problem. And it says that if the farmer is walking uh, at a rate of one foot per second towards the well, uh, how, quickly is the brick how quickly is the brick descending when the farmer is a distance of six feet from the well? Now, in order to set this up, we need to find a formula to uh, relate the different quantities. In this case, we're interested in uh, the distance of the brick uh, from the pulley, or the distance of the rope from the distance between the pulley and the brick, and also the distance of the farmer. So we know that the distance. Um, say, if the brick is here. We have the distance y, and we have r, and our distance x here. Uh, we can relate y and r uh, by the following. We assume that the rope, uh, we know that the rope is 13 feet long, so we know that y minus the, uh, right, y plus r must equal 13 feet. So in other words, 
y is equal to 13 minus r. Now, r can be written as a function of x, uh, again, just using the Pythagorean theorem. So we see that x squared plus 5 squared, since this entire distance here is 5, uh, x squared plus 5 squared is equal to r squared. Uh, now we can solve this for r. We see that r is equal to square root of x squared plus 25. Well, technically, plus or minus the square root of x squared plus 25, but we can safely ignore the minus sign because we're only considering a length of rope, which can only be positive. So if we can substitute this into uh, our equation for y, we see that y is equal to 13 minus square root of x squared plus 25. Now we can differentiate both uh, sides with respect to time, since we assume that uh, that the distance or that the uh, amount that the height of the brick and the position of the farmer are both functions of time. I'm going to say that dy dt, which is the rate at which the brick is descending, is equal to, well, now let's differentiate the right-hand side with respect to time. So the derivative of a constant is 0. Now we have minus 1 half times x squared plus 25. Now we bring down the power by 1, so minus 1 half. Now we need to use the chain rule, so we multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is 2x. But now remember that x is a function of t, so we need to apply the chain rule one more time, and we take we get that the derivative of 2x with respect to t is 2 dx dt. Now if we simplify this a little bit, see that twos cancel out there, and we're left with 2x dx dt over the square root of x squared plus 25. And we have a minus sign there. Now, we need to stick in a value for dx dt. And we see that uh, the problem gives us that the farmer is walking at one foot per second towards the well. Now this means that uh, the x is decrease, or that right the x is decreasing. So we know that dx dt in this case is going to be minus one foot per second. And we're also going to evaluate this when the farmer is six feet from the well, so x equals six. So this will be equal to have minus two times six times dx dt, which is minus one. So write one, we can change this to a positive sign over square root of 6 squared plus 25, so 36 plus 25, which is 61. That's equal to 12 over the square root of 61. And our units will be in feet per second.